Hello everyone, this is another in the Easy Sudoku variants series called Brasica Collection, which are the easiest ones that this particular site on missingdeck.net has. This one is called Killer Heat, and it's one of the few 9x9s in this collection. But I, but I found this one of the easiest ways to learn variants. So we have 9x9 Sudoku rules. 1 to 9 have to appear in every row, in every column, and also in every one of these 3x3 regions. We've got some thermos. There are two of them. They must increase from the bulb this end to the tip that end. And that's all we have. So with that in mind, I'll start in box three up here. There's an eight given to us. The only thing higher than that is a nine. I know where it goes on this thermometer. Now, do we have given digits in killer cages? Yes, we do. There's a 5 plus something, obviously 4, to make 9. 1 plus something, obviously 4, to make 5. Let's see, 9 and 2 cells is either 4, 5, 3, 6, 2, 7, or 1, 8. Well, If it was 1, 8, there's only one way for it to go. If it was 2, 7, it must go like that. But 3, 6 is ruled out from this 9 cage because there's a 3 and a 6 here along with 4, 5. Well, 4, 5 not necessarily, but that would have to be 5. And this would have to be 4. Okay, 15 and 2 cells is 6, 9, or 7, 8. It simply can't be anything else. 14 and 3 cells, minus 3, which gives me 2 cells summing to 11. So I have 2, 9, which only has one way to go around. It can't be 3, 8, because of this 3 and this 8. 4, 7, I don't think works, because that 4 looks up. 5, 6, well... This would have to be 5, and that would have to be 6, wouldn't it? Because if this was 6, it would clash with that one. But if th this 5 clashes with that, so 14 and 2 cells. This is 2. This is 9. That's now 4. So these are not 9 anymore, which means neither of these can be 6 either. This is 7, 8, which is not resolved. Those two are going to be 1 and 6. To finish off column one. Now, here's the other thing to keep in mind. If this is six, this is seven, eight, or nine. This can't be seven or eight, must be nine. Well, nine plus seven is more than ten, so this cannot be nine. It can't be eight, it can't be seven. And if this was six, this couldn't be. Even though this can't be six because six plus seven is thirteen, and that's more than ten. So this cell cannot be six, therefore must be one. Seven plus something, three is ten. That means this digit is a two. Four and two cells is one three, and three has to go here. So this can't be one. It conflicts with a one in the box. Okay. I've got nine in two cells would both see a 4, and they both see a 6. So 4, 5 is out, so is 3, 6. It must be 2, 7. The 2 in column 6 looks up, which tells me the order. And now this 7 in 2 cells can't contain a 2 or a 4, so it can't... That must be 1, 6. And the 1 and the 6 in the boxes tell me the order of the digits. What's left in row 2 is 3, 5, 8. And this one can't be 8. Oh, but this sees 3 and 8. That must be a 5. 
Well, that resolved quicker than I thought. Those two are four and seven. Seven has to go here in the box. This cell can't be seven due to the seven in column three looking up. That tells me where the four goes. One, two, four, six. Unfortunately, this could be just about anything else. Well, actually, seven can't go here because the seven in row two, column six. So I know where seven goes in row one, box three. Those two are three, five. And the five in the column, four looks up and tells me the order. What's left in box two is two and seven. And I have a seven in column four that tells me the order. What's No, two and four, actually, which is not resolved. These two are one and five, which are also not resolved. Okay, I've got 13 and two cells, but I can't really restrict it yet. 14 and two cells. If it was nine, five, it has to go that way. This sees both an eight and a six, so this can't be an eight, six grouping, and it can't be double seven. So it must be nine, five, and I know the order thanks to the five in column four. This cell can't be five anymore. So that one's not four. I don't have a five, four pair to make nine. These three in region four are six, eight, nine. This cell sees six and eight, it must be nine. What's left in column three is the only thing I have left to place, which is one. These three cannot be one, two, five, six, seven, eight. They are three, six, nine. No, three, four, nine. This one sees a three and a four. It must be nine. Those two are three, four, which are not fixed yet. I still don't know anything about the 13 and two cells, do I? Well, it can't be nine, four, because of this nine. If it was 8, 5, there's only one way around it goes. If it was 7, 6, there's only one way around it goes. What's left in row 9 that's not 1, 2, 3, 4, or 9 is 5, 6, 7, 8. That one sees 5 and 7. That doesn't help me. What about column six, which has only three digits left? Three, six, and eight. Well, that one could be anything. So could that one. This one, however, is only six or eight. It can't be three. See one, three, four, six, nine. I need two, five, seven, and eight in column nine, and we've just determined that can't be a five. And this one can't be five either. There's only two spaces left for five. This one is ruled out by the five in row seven looking right. And the five in the box tells me this cell must be six, which pairs with seven to make thirteen. The six in row four looks left sorts out the eight and leaves me with a three six pair in column six what's left in box number six is a four eight pair and the eight in column eight tells me the order the eight in row six looks to its left and sorts out the six eight in column two the six in row six looks back right and sorts out the three in column six, which sorts out the six, and then the eight in column four, which finally sorts out the seven, eight to make 15. Seven in row nine looks back. 
I get a 5 and a 6 in row 9. The 8 in row 8 tells me 2, which makes 7, or needs 7 to make 9. 5 looks up to give me 1 and 5 in box 3. What's left in box 3 is not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, it's a 9 in column 8. These two are 1 and 4. And the 1 in row 7 looks to its right. 4 in row 7 looks over. And what's left in row 4 is 4, 5. And the 5 in column 4 looks up. 4 in column 4 tells me the 2, 4 in row 3. What's left in row 5? is 6, 9, and I know the order, and now we're just filling in digits, I believe. 8 has to go there. I'm down to 3. I need a 2 in row 6. I need a 7 in row 7, and I finish it off with a 3 in the central cell of row 8. 10 minutes, not bad even with an explanation, and doing this one-handed and not a numeric keypad.